Next we're going to be assessing the uh, fingers. For the first one uh, is going to be uh, uh, called the tap test or percussion test. Uh, for this one, uh, we're going to take one of our fingers uh, and just uh, flick or tap the, the tip of the finger and that would cause shooting pain or discomfort uh, over the site of a, a fracture. The next one is called a, a compression test or axial lo loading. So for this one, again, we can take uh, two long bones and uh, compress them together. Um, and again, if that uh, causes pain along the um, the bone, then that would be a positive test for a fracture as well, or crepitus is another sign for a fracture. The next test that we're going to do for the finger is called uh, is a finger uh, tuning fork test. So uh, again, this is for fractures. So where you suspect a fracture, uh, you would hit the the top of the hammer so that it vibrates, and then you would uh, stick this on top of the long bone to see if it again that. Uh, would cause pain, uh, crepitus, uh, over the fracture site. This is going to be uh, the Jersey finger sign. So for this one, uh, we're going to ask the patient to uh, make a fist with his fingers uh, tucked in. And we're looking for all the fingers to be, uh, knuckles to be tucked in. Um, if one of the knuckles is unable to, to flex all the way, um, like this one, that would be a positive sign for a uh, ruptured digitorum profundus uh, muscle for that finger.